What is going on guys? It's Ty here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a Warwick guide. I've been having so much fun making these guides for you, and really appreciate all of the positive feedback. Let's keep it rolling, and see if we can get 50 likes on this one. Now let's get into the gameplay. <coughs> Warwick plays as a tanky bruiser with some pretty good DPS, so to synergize with that we're going to pick up Pressy Attack to deal more damage with our auto attacks. Then we're going to pick up Triumph for the heals. We love close calls, we love living with no health and getting our heals back. Next, we're going to pick up Alacrity for the attack speed. Goes really well on Warwick. We're going to deal Coupe de Grasse for finishing off those low health targets. And then we're going to dip into the Sorcery Tree and pick up Celerity and Water Walking for extra move speed getting around for ganks around in the jungle. Now with the runes out of the way, let's get into the gameplay. So here we go, we're loading up into a Warwick game. Matched up against a Rengar, we're going to always, every time, pick up a Machete, Anal Bead, plus Yellow Trinket. That's the way we like to go. So the way to decide when jungling on what camp to start is very... Oh shh, am I dead? Huh. Okay. That is not what you want to do. I don't know how I didn't see them. I guess I just walked in here. Anyways, the way to decide on where to start <clears throat> is basically on Warwick, it's a good idea to be able to steal buffs. If you can just creep in here and steal a buff, just for the first buff, do it. So you start Q, you creep in. You want to come late, around 1.30, like right as it's spawning. And you want to take it to deny the other person your red. And then to be safe, I like to put a ward there. And I like to take the big raptor. Could probably take more if you wanted to. But it's risky. I'm not sure if Rengar... He may just take my jungle. I could go straight over to my red, but... If he's taken my red, he's probably already taken it by now, so... I'm just gonna... Take my blue and make my way down. So you level your W second because... It increases your attack speed, helps you clear faster. Your E doesn't really doesn't really do anything for your clear speed at all. If anything, it actually probably slows your clear speed because... It's just like the time it takes to cast the ability, you could be auto-attacking. Uh, don't quick cancel it like I did because it gives you damage reduction. So you want to leave it on for as long as possible. I don't know why I did that. So if we look, follow the blood trail. I'm gonna run down bot lane, see if I can get on this guy here. He does not have flash, I just watched him flash, so I might just flash onto him if I have to. So there should be a double kill. Flash, get the t taunt off on him. And then I don't want these minions to kill me. I was holding the wave so that my ADC could get the farm without it dying to the tower, so I could hold it for him. Your ADC will love you if you hold it for him. Because if the minions start hitting the tower, then they're going to die and the ADC is going to miss XP. It also opens up the opportunity for if they want to freeze it, they can la just slow last hit the minions. And then it'll be frozen right here because it'll be like a wave and a half of the other team's minions to a wave your minions. And it will um, be, it'll 
stay there because their minions will kill your minions because there's more of them. So you can do whatever you want with the wave at that point. So, like I thought, Rengar took my buff, but it's okay. He didn't take my wraiths or my Krogs. And I took his wraiths. Or his big bird. I took his big raptor. So I won that trade. One good trick to know how much jungle your enemy jungler's taken is he's at 22 CS, I'm at 28, so... There's lots of stuff that he probably... Oh my god. Team's getting destroyed. So... I probably should go down and hold bottom, but... I think he might have a camp up. Which he doesn't, so... That sucks. Oh, there's the camp, it just spawned. So I'm just going to look to base out here. I could run through the tower and gank, but I need to buy items. A lot of gold to spend. So on pretty on Warwick, it's pretty standard to first item your TM at as soon as possible to really enhance your wave clear. And... <coughs> sorry. And to give you a bit of damage when skirmishing. And then rush your Bammy Cinder and your jungle item. And the way you decide if you want to go red smite or blue smite is if you have trouble sticking to the enemy, you're getting kited a lot, then I recommend going with blue smite. Because it slows them down. If you're not having trouble sticking to people, and you're getting all your damage off like you need to, then I highly recommend going red smite. So Rengar's red buff is up already. I don't know if that was warded. I don't have flash, we're gonna have to fight our way out of this. So far, so good. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm dead. Uh. Yeah, I don't know why I went back in there. For some reason, I thought we could change CC. I don't know, don't. That was stupid. But basically, what you want to do in the fights. Is whenever you auto attack, make sure to Q as a auto attack reset. If this thresh hangs around, I'm gonna kill him. So you want to auto and then Q immediately after to kind of short cancel the auto. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on down there. I'm just gonna pretend like I didn't see anything. So like for example, when it's off cooldown again. Auto immediately Q after. I like to max my Q first. Once again, it depends on the game. If you're having trouble sticking to targets, maybe max your W or you're not getting to ganks fast enough. But if you max Q, it gives you a huge chunk of raw damage. Like, it's dealing... How much is it dealing already? It's already dealing 134 plus almost 10% of their health. It's dealing a lot of damage. So, I like to max that because I like to be able to one-shot people.
So did he just come from here? Yeah, he just stole my blue. What the fuck? So I'm a little bit salty right now. He stole my blue. Looks like he might be giving his blue onto the LeBlanc. So I'm gonna pop a ward in here, see if they see me. Okay, they've already got that. When I get in range of W, I'm gonna pop that to get the move speed to get in here faster. Is Gorky gonna take that? Oh. Gonna alt them. Gonna flash. Don't want to risk him getting away. Rengar's kind of fast. Gonna kill the scuttle. So what I did with Thresh there, I knew he was gonna flame me, and I was in range with Q, so I waited for him to flame me, and then I held down Q so that I couldn't be displaced or however they word it, and. Um, It let me just slide right through him, and his Q didn't do anything to me. So I'm gonna go down here real quick. I don't know what this Corky is doing. Oh my. I couldn't get in range. So I, once again, I have lots of gold, as I always say. You want a base when you have lots of gold. There's no point if you're fed. Are you really fed if you're not spending the gold? Like you don't, you don't have the items. You might have, you'll have the XP advantage, but you don't have the gold advantage. So looking at the map, my camps are here, 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 and here. I know when Rengar's red buff is spawning, it's going to be up and about. Probably... Probably three minutes. That's my guess. I didn't actually check. So my bot lane just got nuked out. I'm gonna pop a pink in here. And I wanna fight this. I don't want my janitor base, but... She's going to, so. Oh my god, I didn't hold Q, I suck. That was dumb. Played that horribly. So actually, I was completely off with the red timer on his red timer, so I have no idea really when he took it. So what we're going to look to do we want to get our buffs, so I'm going to grab my blue buff, head down for my red buff, I'm looking top, and we're getting spam pinged here, so that's not good. So Rengar is about here, Kid doesn't have a teleport, I should go hold his lane, but 
I don't want to. I think I can be more effective elsewhere. They obviously know I'm there, so I'm not even going to bother. Oh my god, why is this kid here? I'm going to dash out of the way of that. Onto the block. Like, what is that damage? I don't understand. Rengar just suicided. So that's pretty good. I'm going to pick up... Probably any... I'm going to go Merc Treads this game. They have their heavy AP. You want to pick up your boots solely based on... CC and damage type. So... They have a decent amount of CC, 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 and Corky is dealing, he deals like 90% magic damage or something, full AP, full AP, bit of AD. So I'll grab Mercs, and then I will grab a piece of armor, probably a dead man's plate, it gives you a little extra burst damage. And it lets you ult farther with the move speed because the faster you go, the faster you, or further you can ult. So, I barely did anything. I don't know why Yasuo couldn't do that himself. So, one, I didn't need to ult there. And now what you can do is you can just mirror. You mirror him. You take over a vision in their jungle. Actually, I'm going to roam down here. Just to... Might break him out. Just going to assassinate him. Oh my god. And then I just get abandoned. So I'm fucking dead. Uh... I think we could have just fought that if Galio knocked up the Corky. Because Galio does a lot of damage and we could have perm CC'd him. That's the feels bad for Galio. I think he should have just let me live. Or let me die. Instead of going in. Or maybe waited till I hit the bomb over the wall. Because I was planning on just bombing out and saying see ya. Which I did. But he decided that he wanted to bite the bullet. Like a good soldier. And he did. So I'm gonna go mid here. I really don't think we can hold this. I just wanted to get the taunt off. I'm gonna go do this camp to sustain a bit. Oh my god, if this kid somehow lives. Oh, he just burned to death. <laughs> so he was caught out, I don't know what the fuck he was doing. I popped my sweeper so I could get vision on him. This LeBlanc probably just might let me run her down. She's probably going to throw her chains out at some point. 
god, let me out of here. Oh my god, let me out! So now we can just take this tower down. So here they've got two dead, our only plays. We can probably get some damage off here. But more than likely we want to just leave. Just leave, just leave. Don't want to overstay. Get a little chip damage there. Allowed Yasuo to buy him enough time to be a little chip damage there. And he overstayed. Like a noob. So now the whole enemy team is topside. And we're we have one dead, one showing bottom. And if I show anywhere close to bottom away from Baron, it's twenty minutes. Baron dies super fast at twenty minutes. They could rush a Baron down if we're not careful. I don't have smite up, so I don't really want to try and. Oh my! What is this kid doing? Oh my! Oh my God! Last take night. That's super annoying. Is Yasuo going to get an ult onto anyone? Okay, just... Just a whole lot of whiffed skill shots right now. That's what I'm seeing. Uh... Yeah, that's not horrible. I'm going to buy another health crystal just because... I'm assuming by the next time I go back, I'm going to make up the 500 for the dead man's. So there's no point saving because I'm going to make that much up anyways. Ooh, that was actually a nice little play up there. So we're maxing our W next. You can max your W, put three points in W before you start maxing Q, then max Q to give you a longer range on your W. But I didn't feel like I needed it. I just wanted to be able to one-shot people. And it worked pretty well, as I have 10 kills. Okay, so I might be dead here if they go on me. Pop the sweeper because I wanted to make sure they didn't see me. And they did, so. So I'm gonna look for a pick here. He's gonna flame me. Oh. Flayed me. Oh, that was a really dumb idea. So that's a terrible idea for one. We just saw Quirky picked up the package, meaning he's gonna be moving very fast. And he can get there instantly, so... Originally, I just wanted to get a little chunk onto the Thresh. And then... I got a little carried away. Completely my fault. So to win this game, this guy's not dealing much damage. Our bot lane is doing pretty shitty. Like always, buy pinks. More pink words. It's getting to the point in the game where Baron's gonna have to come into play very soon. And I don't know what that Thresher was. They've got reinforcements coming. So do we. I have all nine seconds. Oh my god, Jaina steals the kill. So we should definitely make our way over to this barren direction. 
and try and cut them off. I don't know why this guy's teleporting top. Uh, if he's going to cut them off, that's a good idea, but if he's just going to farm that wave, then... I'm not really sure what he's doing. Okay, is this thing gonna evaporate? Oh my god, does everyone always have summoners? Is that how this, this works? I don't know if I can even fight this guy. Heal me, heal me, heal me. Rengar had red buff. I didn't have all. I didn't have red smite. I didn't have much to fight him. See, that's Baron. I didn't actually see how much health Rengar had. I just assumed that he was like under quarter. Which he was about half. And he was a lot stronger than I thought. So whenever they get Baron... Okay, is that kid just inting? I think he might have just hinted. You want to look to build up a bit of a monster wave, so these minions are going to crash about right there. Uh oh. I'm going to look to stun him and run this way. I have a dead man, so I'm fast. So I could probably just start running. Oh, now I'm getting move speed, so I'm gonna use my convenient move speed to just run right back to base. Didn't even need to alt away. Didn't need to flash. Whole team is dead, though. Crit, I swear that crit me for like 800 damage. So uh, it kind of feels bad. How does that quirky not die there? Well, they can't end the game. So I guess we'll keep playing. I'm gonna kill this kid, and then I'm gonna chase the quirky down after. So quirky's right up there. Oh, shit. I mean, it doesn't really matter that I can be with that, but... I mean, in the scheme of things, I didn't even really need to alt there. <laughs> that was pretty far, holy shit. So Thresh is up, he might come up here and try and mess with me, but... I'm just gonna leave after I take that, head out. We should go down for this Infernal. But the team's not exactly... Oh my god. Holy fuck. 
I'm just gonna red some item and run, team. Nobody home. Our Yasuo is just trolling. I'm not really sure what happened this game. I'll be honest with you, I don't really know what happened. Well, yes, what happened. And he fed the shit out of the Rengar. Oh my god. Just kill this Thresh. Kill the Thresh. Team. Oh my god. So there's somebody in this bush. Holy shit. She's gonna ult on me. God. I've got to fight my way out. I'm not going to live. I just keep getting slowed from... I'm going to have to try and go back through. If I live here, that's insane. There's no way I live. I can't possibly outrun this guy. Oh, I live. Wow. Well, that was an interesting game. Uh, Honor the Galio. He was the only one that was remotely valuable. So, my post thoughts. See, uh, even when I lose, like I have to evaluate what I did wrong. And... I want to say Yasuo just sucked, and it wouldn't have mattered if I went top, because he just inted. And it was clearly toxic, like you saw him suicide, t literally intentionally die multiple times. He was executing the minions, he was just standing still, letting them kill him. He was just being a grade A scumbag, but I think I could have stayed alive a couple more times I died for no reason when I didn't have to I think that was my biggest mistake I think about two maybe two maybe even three times I died just totally unnecessary and when you're fed when you're the one that has to carry the game you can't you can't make any mistakes because anytime you're dead is you're off the map and your team's gonna die without you so I could have played better. The team wasn't doing well to make it easy. Made it a lot harder. I think I may have been able to carry it if I played a little better. But anyways, as always, thanks for watching, guys. There's nothing that makes me happier than finding out that my guides helped you guys play better and win some games. So make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to comment. And make sure to subscribe. So that I know that I'm bringing you guys the content that you want. Let me know what you guys want to see. And I'll see you all in the next video.